I guess I'll talk about the Stormy Daniels thing. I don't, I don't know what to make of it. I, I keep on trying to figure out what the scandal is, other than perhaps the underlying relationship, assuming it took place, and I can't assume it took place. So Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, excuse me, the mayor, former mayor of New York, who's now the president's uh, top lawyer, was on TV, he was on Sean Hannity's show the other night, and he essentially said that Cohen, the president's lawyer, was reimbursed by the president for the payment that was made to the Stormy Daniels person in exchange for her uh, not talking about any alleged relationship with President Trump, or not talking at all, frankly. So everyone went crazy because they said, well, the president said he didn't know about this. Well, I didn't, I didn't see anything that Giuliani said that necessarily conflicted, if fairly construed, with what the president's previously said. He said he didn't know about the payment. And he wasn't, pay, he wasn't told you need to pay this for, to reimburse uh, uh, Cohen for this $130,000 payment. What Giuliani said was that Cohen was the president's lawyer getting whatever amount, I think $30,000 a month retainer to take care of issues like this, and that's how he was reimbursed. It didn't mean the president wrote a check to cover Stormy Daniel expenses. It meant that Cohen just took the money out of, his, uh, out of the retainer that he was getting on a regular basis from President Trump, or then candidate Trump. So I'm, I, I don't know what the scandal is. I mean, the media is more focused on the fact that somehow the press operation in the White House didn't know what Giuliani was going to say. Well, I guess if you uh, want a well-run White House to have the communications arm knowing what the president's lawyers are going to say, oh, you know, I guess that would be good. But it ain't a scandal. It's just Washington politics. And there's no credible information or evidence out there that there was a crime committed, either in the reimbursement, the non-disclosure agreement itself, or anything else related to uh, that decision to enter into the agreement with Stormy Daniels by Cohen. So this is, uh, the hyper-focus on this in the media is just extraordinary. And their talk of the campaign finance uh, crimes associated with this, I, you know, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I know a little, about, a little bit about campaign finance issues. And this is not a campaign finance issue. And if it is, it's something that can be fixed with a little paperwork, and at worst a fine. But you never know, because with the Justice Department being run essentially by Robert Mueller, everything can be blown up, right? So that's why you had this news this week, re first reported and then retracted by NBC, that there was a wire of Mr. Cohen's phone calls prior to that outrageous raid on his office by the Justice Department, Southern District of New York, FBI, et cetera, at the referral of Robert Mueller's investigators. Well, in fact, what happened was that there, well, I don't know exactly what happened, because I don't know if there was a wire or not, but now NBC is reporting that, no, no, it wasn't a wire. They talked to some federal officials who supposedly knew what was going on, and that there was a, quote, a pen register. And a pen register is uh, used to track incoming and outgoing phone calls. Just their numbers, though. The, 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 the phone calls aren't recorded. But we also have reconfirmed that they were looking at his email. All of this, Cohen's email, all of this prior to that raid. So Cohen has been under investigation for some time by evidently either Mueller or the Justice Department. Again, this is the president's lawyer. I don't believe they had a good faith basis for opening an investigation for Cohen, into Cohen, but for his relationship to Donald Trump. And this is why I keep on saying that uh, President Trump should consider kind of a, a blanket pardon for anyone who's been a subject or a target of the Mueller investigation or any referrals related to it, like Cohen. 